Alright, so today we're going to be taking you through an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. We're going to be going right through the paper that you have next to you. So, what we're going to be working with today is we're going to prepare an image for laser engraving using the effect functions. So, number one on the paper for the tutorial is we have to open up Adobe Illustrator through the Start Menu button. Obviously, I already have it open because my computer is being a pain in the butt and really slow. So, we'll mo so I'm going to move on to the second one. So, you need to open up a new document. Now, I already have a document there, but as like I said, my computer is being really slow. So, just to open up a new document, you guys will click on File, New, and then in the new document window, locate name and type in the space engrave effect one click down then on the drop down box locate your drop down box where it says units make sure it says inches if it doesn't say inches and it says points click on the drop down box and choose inches Locate your width and height, and make sure that it says 5 inches for your width, 5 inches for your height. Once you have this, click the OK button. And I'll get rid of this other document. Alright, so now we have our canvas here. So this will be our digital art canvas. So now we want to insert an image. So inserting an image, we'll be going through our black and whites folder that we downloaded from the Google Classroom page. So we then go up to File, and we come down to Place, dot, dot, dot. Now like I said, I'm using my home computer, so it's going to be a little bit different for me. But for you guys, you will try to find where it says your PC, I have Windows 10, you guys will be using Windows 7 on my classroom computers. Once you have your PC, it will give you a bunch of different options. You'll be looking for something like this, and that'll be your N, your H drives, which you'll be looking for. So you're going to look for your H drive. For myself, I'm just going to go to my pictures folder from my own computer, and I do have a black and whites folder right here that I'm going to use on my own computer. So I click on black and whites. Now your black and whites folder is going to be a little bit different because it's been fused together at least twice. So once you click on black and whites there will be another black and whites folder for you to click on within this, like another subfolder within that folder. So once you click on that black and white second subfolder that you'll be looking for this picture here, this George Washington picture, it's a color picture. So you click on George, and then you click on Place. And my computer is doing this spinning wheel of death, so we'll see how long that goes with a not responding. Wonderful. Okay, so now there's George. Now, I'm using an older version of Adobe Illustrator. I'm simply using Creative Suite 6, where you guys have the most updated version. So with your version, the mouse, you'll be able to see like a little thumbnail of the picture with the mouse. So when yours, you'll simply just come up in the top corner. You would click down on your, right, on your left mouse, you would hold, and then you would drag it onto the screen. That's how you would work with yours. Mine, it just automatically put it on there because this is an older version. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure my click on my selection tool. And I'm simply just going to make George a little bigger. So I'm going to move him a little bit. Hold down my shift key. And I'm going to increase his size just a little bit. Okay, so we got a good, a good picture of George. Alright, so now moving on here. 
So now, once you've once you have the picture the way you want it, select the image of George, and then you'll go up to the top toolbar in the menu bar, and you want to click on Effect, and come down to Effect Gallery. All right, so you'll see a little uh, preview here of what we're going to look at. I'm going to increase my picture just to fit on the screen with this little drop down box where the zoom button is. I'm going to set fit on screen. Okay, so now you'll want to click on the sketch folder, which we have right here. Sketch portfolio folder. And in here you want to play with the graphic pen, the photocopy, and stamp options. So first off, we'll click on the graphic pen one. And then you can just play with these little sliders on the side here, stroke length and dark and white dark and light balance. Just play with those, see how you like them. Just different options to play with. You come down to stamp. So you have your light and dark balance you can work with. Smoothness. So light and dark will add darkness, which will bring a little bit more of a picture of the picture to it. Now when you come down to smoothness, they'll sort of try to smooth out the picture of the lines a little bit, but as you notice, it's just taking away a lot of George's face. So that's one option you can play with. But we're going to go with the photocopy one. And then you can play with the details slider here. And even the darkness slider. So just for fun on this one, I'm going to change this detail detail to 10 and then my darkness I'm going to type in 3 that's a fairly decent picture of him that can turn out good in the laser engraver so now from here I'm going to click OK and there you have it the picture that will turn out fairly decent with the laser engraver it's nice black and white forward photo. Okay, so now we want to save the document. So for saving the document we're going to go to File and we're going to come down to Save As. Now like this part here is where you guys got to pay attention to where you save your file. So you actually want to go back to your PC. I mean this section here is going to look a little bit different on your operating system that you're using. If you can go under your PC, and you can find your network drive. So wherever it would say devices and drives, your network drive should be in here, and you would click on your network drive. And you would just click on your network drive. So if, just for instance, I'm just going to go to my pictures file on my, com my home computer. And I'm going to look at my file name. My file name is already saved the way I wanted to in Grave Effect 1. But now, what I want to do is I want to click on Save Type As, which is right here. And I want to save this as an Adobe PDF file. If we were to save, leave this saved as an Illustrator file, and once we uploaded them to our Google Classroom, I wouldn't be able to see them, and I wouldn't be able to convert them to our main desktop so we could send them to the laser engraver. It wouldn't work because the image would not show up. So what we have to do is we need to, right here where it says Adobe Illustrator.ai, we can click the drop down box and choose Adobe PDF and then make sure your save in or look in uh, drop down box up here make sure you're in your H drive and then you would click save now when you save as a PDF there, on your computers there may be a thing that comes up Another window that will come up right here, exactly this one right here. So save PDF, just leave all this alone and just click save PDF. Alright, so at this point, you upload it to the Google Classroom page. Alright, and that's what we have.